Alex Johnston starts on pole with Archie Forber alongside Hector Hurst and Luke Taylor on row two, Benjamin Watts and Louis Diamond on row three. Thomas Byrne starts in seventh place with Thomas Fleming alongside Vishal Patel and Zach Ripley on the fifth row, complete the top 10 with Harry Torpy and Benjamin Southgate on row six. Hugo Gilbert starts 13th with Remy Gilbert alongside Jensen Buckingham and Lucas Ellingham on row number eight. Martin Alger and Jordan Brown start 17th and 18th respectively with Aidan Line, Paul Simard and Tom Ryan, your 21 runners. Seem to be rather tidy this time. I thought they were last time, but obviously there was a few hanging off the back of the pack. The lights are out though, we're away and racing in Senior X30. Johnston has once again got a good start as the slide widens that first corner. Still not up to full operating temperatures, certainly on the tyres. They make their run down to Christmas Corner. 21 runners all nice and cleanly through as this still running side by side deeper into the pack. But Johnston has used the opening half a lap to try and break away from everybody else. Good move there by Thomas Burt, by Thomas Byrne down the inside. Torpy as well. And this contact then between Byrne and Torpy into Oziers. I wonder if we've got a damage on the front there. Looked like that cut that wheel was sort of hanging a bit. Thought we might have had at the very least there a bent track rod on the front of that car. And the worst case is that if there is a full full damage in terms of snapping one, then that rate the race is over because you can't race on three wheels, unfortunately. But uh, Everybody seems to have got through there without too much issue, and, and although I'm sure uh, Byrne will not be overly impressed with his trip across the grass as Torpy unfortunately loses a place there to Zach Ripley in that run down. Have a quick look at the, uh, at the top ten. We've not got the stacker, but down the top left corner, but Johnston leads the way from Forber and Fleming with Taylor, uh, Diamond, Patel. Ellingham, Torpy, Ripley and Hurst, the top ten. There is the... Uh, the stacker appearing down that top left corner. Johnston then has a gap of nine tenths on that previous lap from Forber in second place. We'll cross the line now. Forber actually closes that one in by two tenths with Fleming coming along as well for the ride. Green down the left, that means that they've made up a position as well on the previous lap. Red unfortunately means they've dropped one, but if somebody moves up, then unfortunately somebody has to move down. Now we've got Fleming then down the inside of uh, Forber, so Forber who closed two tenths on the race leader on the previous lap will unfortunately lose one to uh, Thomas Fleming and Fleming now will be tasked with reeling in Johnston at the uh, front of this senior X30 class So the, the gap is back out to eight tenths this time round, but obviously Fleming had that overtake as well. Behind them, Luke Taylor and Louis Diamond, not too far back either. And then Vishal Patel in sixth place as well, was still in camera shot there. Then we've got half a second back to Lucas Ellingham in the 99 cart. There he is coming uh, onto the back then of Vishal Patel on this uh, fourth lap here at Wilton Mill Johnston still holding fairly comfortable gap at the front although Fleming has started to move away from Forber on that previous lap and certainly by the end of this race should be close enough I think to uh, Johnston if he keeps this sort of momentum to tense he's taken out of Forber sets a personal best as well although Fleming was the fastest driver on the track on that previous lap Ellingham has found a way past Patel on, the, uh, on that last lap, that moves him up into six. Jordan Brown as well made a move on Thomas Byrne. That moved him into the top ten for the first time in this race. And number 80, there he is, in the, uh, right in the middle, actually, of this uh, of the stacker that's on the screen. 18 showing. I think we've only got 18 runners, actually, out there, which we were, we were gridded for 21. So a couple of drivers not making it out. Um, this time unfortunately as there's a little bit of contact there as track limits warning for our race leader there's a bit of contact there between the 15 and the 50 that's Southgate and Buckingham there's another track limit warning as well for Zach Ripley in 8th place so our leader John, uh, Alex Johnston with a track limits warning now generally here at Wilton that's probably for around the paddock corner the last one as they run wide over that uh, 
the curbs on the outside. The curb on the inside, not too inviting, if uh, if I'm honest. It is quite a uh, ro robust curb here at Wilton Mill. Designed really to keep you away from it, actually, because it's it's the highest of all the curbs here at Wilton. You'll see it in a few moments' time as they come round this corner. As we uh, follow our runners. We'll hook round in a few moments, but the curb on the inside there is quite high. You can go over it, but you are very aware that you are doing it when you do it. Contact warning for Benjamin Southgate. The gap for the lead much, much closer. This is a late move down the inside from uh, Luke Taylor. Moving up on uh, Archie Forber. That moves Taylor into the uh, top three. Forber will drop them down into fourth. Diamond and Ellingham behind. Still right with them. The battle for the lead now, though, sees Tom Fleming a lot closer than he has been on Alex Johnston. And down the inside, he goes into the boot. Johnston has to relent. And Thomas Fleming now leads the way with two minutes remaining in Senior X30. Taylor then, the confirmation as well that he's moved up into third place. Forber down into fourth. Diamond, Ellingham, Patel, Ripley, Torpy and Brown. This is a late, late move down the inside there by the 91 of Louis Diamond on uh, Archie Forber. And Diamond really forcing his way through into, uh, into that corner. Gave, uh, gave Forber no doubts that he was coming through as he slid down the inside into Christmas corner. It has... Uh, Allowed Lucas Ellingham, though, to come through as the, his uh, progress for Diamond was hampered with that move down the inside into Christmas. Leaders then making their way through. Fleming leads from Johnston, Taylor, then Ellingham now up into fourth place. Diamond and Forber, fifth and sixth. Patel, Ripley, Torpy and Brown have been fairly consistent in that seventh to tenth order since around about lap three. Now we're going to see whether, on the screen, whether uh, Buckingham can get past Byrne for uh, 11th place. Then we've got, uh, behind them, we've got Benjamin Southgate. We know Buckingham and Southgate started fairly close to each other on the grid. So they've sort of, like, stuck with each other. And that is often the case in car. If, you, if you're with somebody you, you know is of a similar pace, if, they, if you know that they're going to start moving through the field or they can move through the field, you stick with them and just if they create a gap then you make sure your cart's in it before the driver that they're overtaking in front puts theirs back in it and you can start making your way through and they're working together top five then as they timer elapses it'll be the last lap board next time they come round so it's Fleming, Johnston, Taylor, Ellingham and Diamond then the top five with Ellingham now on screen there in the 99 with Louis Diamond not too far behind can Ellingham get into the top three? Can he close in on Luke Taylor on this uh, next lap? Their, their time on the previous lap were fairly consistent with each other. <clears throat> it's whether now Taylor starts making a move on Johnston for second place that could potentially back them into uh, Ellingham in fourth place. Fleming then leads the way and quite comfortably so. Seven tenths is the gap back to uh, Johnston and Taylor. Johnston did have to move to the inside there. Slight bit of a defence to the... Uh, to the inside and they didn't have to uh, white line it just moved his cart one cart length in just to uh, really give Taylor the idea that there wasn't an overtake to be done certainly too far back that he has to con concentrate on attacking because Fleming has got this one sewn up if you can just navigate the boot without too much trouble out of the final corner then comes Thomas Fleming to take victory in heat number two for our senior X30 class. Johnston gets second with Taylor in third. Ellingham's progress stopped at fourth place with Louis Diamond completing the top five. Archie Forber, Vishal Patel, Zach Ripley, Harry Torpy and Jordan Brown then completing the top ten.